Hey everybody, how you doing? Denny Me, you here, Master Coach, and today we're going to be talking about something very, very important. We're going to be talking about what's in between here, your mindset, the way you think, conscious mind, subconscious mind. Very, very important class, especially if you have a hard time to attract and manifest what is it you want, if you suffer from procrastination, lack of vision, if you work really, really, really hard and you always get the same results, this class is for you. We are going to make this a little bit simple, that we're not going to make it complicated. I took all the information I get and I make it simple so for you, you can start using it tomorrow. That doesn't mean you don't, if you want to know more, you're probably going to go online and learn more. And actually, Bob Parker is uh, very, very good. He's got some videos similar to the one I made here, who explain the conscious mind, the subconscious mind in greater details. But my goal here is just to start the process. So again, thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome to uh, my power class, the power of your mind. And if you see right here, the little laptop right here says no change equal no change. That's very important because if there's a specific area, a specific topic right now that you don't like the results, you're gonna have to change something. A lot of people do the same thing every day, right? They do the same thing every day, week after week, month after month, years later, they end up in the same spot. And they still complain, why is my life is miserable or whatever the case may be. If you want to change anything, just remember, you're going to have to make some change. We're going to talk about that. And most likely, it looks like you're going to have to change your inside right here, your mindset, the way you think, in order to get different results. That's what this class is all about. For the people who don't know me, my name is Denny Mayu, I am a master coach, I'm the CEO of Focus One is All Coaching, where we work with people who wants to do more, who wants to create more, who wants to manifest more. They are at point A right here, point A is where you are right now, and point B is where you want to be. That's your vision, your mission, your short term, mid term, long term goals, it could be your passion, your purpose, your big why, whatever it is that you want to accomplish we help you to get there faster. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Most people don't need to have a coach to get there. However, if you wanna get there faster, if you don't want it to take five, 10, 20 years, this is where a good coach, a professional coach gonna help you. We at Focus One It's All Coaching, we have different programs. We have 30 days, 99 days, 180 day programs that helps our clients to reach a goal faster. So what do people want, right? What do people want when we think about this? Most human, in my opinion, wants this. We want, first of all, we want to be free. We don't think about that much. We will want, we want to be free. Your happiness will depend on as much freedom as you have. I'm talking about physical freedom, of course, and mental freedom and emotional freedom and all that stuff. Of course, when you look at the one to the right right here, we talk about money, very, very important as well. Money is... Uh, it's, it's so, so critical for our life, right? We need money to eat, we need money, money to uh, pay our rent, uh, gas, everything. Money is huge and I don't know anybody, I don't know anybody in my life in a way who doesn't want more money. So again, what the most of us human beings want, we want more money, we want more love as well. We want our spouse to love us, we want our family, our kids, our parents to love us. Of course, we want our friends and co-worker at least to respect us. Health. You need to be healthy. If you're not healthy, it's pretty hard to enjoy the, your family, your money, and your freedom. So healthy is another big aspect of what most of us want. When I say most of us, I'm talking about you men. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. It doesn't matter of your race. It doesn't matter which country do you live in. This is all of these one. One, two, three, four. Freedom, money, love, and being healthy is very important. The one right here, personal growth. I want to be able to grow. I don't want to be here living always at the same level. I want to learn more, I want to become a better person, a better coach, a better friend, or whatever it is. The personal growth is important for some of us. Legacy as well, some people want to leave something behind for their children and grandchildren and the people after when they're gone. So value is important to me as well because I want to give value to the people right now, people, my clients, my family, my friends, the people around me. It's important that I give value right now. I don't want to be living day after day and just be normal. I want to make sure that I give to the people around me. Peace of mind is more about um, you know, being able to sleep well at night. 
I know some people who uh, have lots of money. They have a family who love them. They got good friends. They're pretty healthy, but they cannot go to bed at night. They cannot go to sleep at night because for something they did in the past or something they plan to do in the future. So peace of mind is very important. So now that we know what is it that most women want, let's talk about what's stopping us. Well, I know you've seen that before, limiting belief. It's something that a lot of people, we hear that, oh, don't think this way, think about this way. This is very important that we get this. I'm going to go through the list right here, and I want you, when you hit one that resonated with you, that's the aha, that's me. Just take note of it, and uh, we're going to work on it later. Actually, you're going to have the power. You're going to have some way to overcome it later in this video. The first one is I'm too shy. I'm not attractive. I have no money here. That one a lot. No money. I'm not talented enough, I'm not good enough, right? I'm not educated enough, I don't know enough, I'm afraid of being judged, that's a huge one. Money is evil, money is hard to make. This is one of the main, most, I think, I don't know what it is, we were programmed like this, this is the most common one that I hear all day long. Uh, rich or successful people had to cheat or screw people to get on the top. These are hard time. I don't have enough energy. Uh, you have to pay your dues to get to the top, I'm not qualified. All I have done so far is fail. Other people can do it because it's easier for them. I'm too old, I'm too young to start this business or to start this project. People cannot be trusted. People are out there to hurt you. It's too late. And I'm right to worry. We'll talk about this one later. I am right to worry. And I put some big in red right now. These are the ones that we need to stop saying today. Today. If you have that in your vocabulary, in your language right now, if you talk to yourself, to your subconscious, that way we need to try to replace them or change something, right? I cannot. You don't want to use this. It is too hard. I cannot afford. How many times do we tell the universe we cannot afford something? The universe is going to validate whatever you're telling it every single time so these are some of the limited belief that's going to slow you down to your process to your progress let's go for if you're in business or if you're in sales insurance sales real estate sales or if you have a, i don't know you have a mini business or a small business i mean these are some of the uh, limiting beliefs that will slow you down and maybe stop you completely to move forward i am not a natural salesperson I hear that a lot you know Nobody was born natural salesperson, by the way, so you know it's a skill that you can develop over time. Asking for referrals will annoy my people. No, that's your job. I cannot challenge my prospect, meaning I cannot ask for the sale three, four, five, six times. Um, I don't have enough time to do X, to do prospecting, to do cold calling, to do door to door maybe. I will seem greedy if I try to upsell. That's an important one, right? I will seem greedy if I try to upsell. Listen, if you really believe in the product you're selling, then you should have no problem to upsell. It's all about mental, right? I am a nuisance to my buyers. Running a business is hard. I cannot charge more for my product or service. This was mine that I had to overcome over the years. I used to be excellent coaching for no money. Until I realized that, hey, there's value in what I do, so I raise my price so I can help more people. The more money we make, the more, more people you can help. I think it makes sense. All the great business opportunities are taken. I'm not smart, experienced, credible enough to talk to C-level executive. I know a few of these people. I'm going to tell you, these usually are the nicest people. They did it. They have experience. They have tips. They have best practices. And they love to help. They love to share. So, of course, there's a time for everything. And there's a way to ask these people for help. However, don't be shy. Here are some... Uh, Others that we don't want to use today, from today on, I don't have, I don't have time, I don't have money, I don't have energy, we don't say that anymore. I am not good at public speaking, I'm not good at social media, or whatever it is you're not good at, we don't say this anymore. The economy is bad, well, make your own economy, that's what I would say. So limiting belief, where do they come from, really? When you start thinking about this, where do limiting belief comes from? Usually when you're early, young, right, we're going to see mom and dad, brother, sister, aunts, teacher, coach, best friend, or anybody who uh, live with us at a time, right? Uh, life experience as well. And if you're a little bit older, maybe ex-spouses, right? So you live with somebody for four, five, six years and you start to believe that if somebody tells you you're not good uh, for four, five, six, seven years, you might start to believe that you're not good. That doesn't mean anything. 
So let me give you an example of what happened to me when I was younger. I was about like eight, nine, maybe 10 years old. I'm working in the street in Quebec City. It's uh, winter. I'm dressed like an astronaut, you know, scarf, toque and gloves. And I got my newspaper and I deliver a newspaper. It's getting a little bit dark and this dog comes from the darkness and jump on me. It was big enough to scare me. So I fall down and I run home and I start crying, I guess, to crying to my mom and dad. And I start to explain what happened. But from that day, I was afraid of dogs. Dogs were mean, dogs were, uh, dogs were a threat. Their dogs were not friendly, not to me anyway. To the point I'm 13, 14 years old and I'm walking on the sidewalk, I see a little chihuahua, I will go on the other side. That was my belief, dogs were a threat. I really believed it. If you were gonna come to me that day or the day after or a week after or whatever and you tell me, Danny, you got this wrong. Dogs are nice. Dogs are loyal. Dogs are the best man's friend or whatever it is. I would have said, yo, man, you don't understand what I'm saying. You don't know what I have lived. You don't know my experience. You don't know what happened to me. There was no way I would change. Today it's changed and over time I, was, I overcome that limited belief. I have a beautiful dog at home and I love her to that. However, it took a long time for me to overcome that limiting belief. So what I want to do is I want you to look at these one right now. When you look at these limiting beliefs, look at them and say, hmm, is it really a belief? Is it really true? Or is it something like my dog story, which it wasn't true. It was just my perception to the dog due to my past experience. So you might have some limiting belief there that you believe that you're not good at something or you're too old and it's hard to make money or you're not qualified or you're afraid of people will judge you or whatever it is, you might have a couple there that might not be true. Something to think about anyway. So now that we know because it's important to get because look at this. These limiting beliefs will slow you down, that's for sure. These limiting beliefs will kill your dreams. These limiting beliefs will, will paralyze you. So I want you to be aware of which limiting beliefs and now we're going to talk about how we talk to our subconscious mind. Listen, toddler will hear the word no 400 times a day. If he doesn't hear the word no, he's going to psst, 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 be quiet, right? 400 times a day. That's the way we are raised. And so we hear the word no a lot more. So once we talk about limiting belief, this is not the time to stop blaming the people around us. This is definitely not the time to start to, you know, uh, blame you. This is not thing about you. It's the way that happened. Now that we are aware, I'm going to learn a way to overcome it. Actually, we're going to talk about why is it important to transfer that energy to a different energy. So now we're going to be talking about conscious and subconscious mind. So before we do that, I want to talk about the difference between the brain and the mind. Look, I use this because a lot of people use these words uh, different, right? They're going to say, my brain is full, my mind is full. My brain is confused, my mind is confused. These two different things. Though. Your brain is like a, the hardware of a computer. This is the two to three pounds of flesh. The millions and millions of trillions of cells, this is what your brain is. Your mind is more about the language, the software, right? But in order for you to be able to perform adequately, you will need a good brain and a good mind. If you have a trauma in your brain, you know, somebody hits you with a bottle or something, you, get, you had a, an accident, your brain, you know, you might not perform so good for a little while until you heal. If uh, you get too much drugs or alcohol, same thing, right? When you drink too much, sometimes your brain slows down. So that's what your brain is. You need a good brain in order to get good results, and you need a good mind. When we talk about the mind, is what happened here. Let's say you have a virus. A virus is something that will slow your computer down, right? Sometimes you're gonna, never going to get the result you want, or you never. it takes forever to get the results you want. The virus is right here, my friend. These are your virus, limiting beliefs. So we're going to be talking, in order for you to be able to perform adequately and get what you want, manifest what you want, you need a healthy brain, I think everybody get this, and you need a good software, a good language. The language you talk to yourself, the language you talk to your subconscious mind, as well as to the universe. 
So we're going to be Johnny. Johnny right here is somebody who's going to help us to teach about the conscious and subconscious mind. So we got 10% right here, right? The conscious mind, it takes about 10% of your entire mind and your subconscious mind is about 90%. Look, some experts will say 95 to 5%. For this video, I decided to put 90-10. Know that your subconscious mind is bigger, it, kind of, it takes more of your entire mind than your conscious mind. mind let's talk a little bit about uh, the uh, conscious mind first. First of all, the conscious mind is, you can call it your focus mind, right? This is your conscious mind, your conscience, your conscience about everything's going on. This is the mind you're going to use when you analyze, you study, you focus, you think, you plan. This is right, right here in front of your frontal lobe right now. If you can see me, this is what the part the conscious mind is. And you're going to use, you're using this mind right now. If you're listening to me, if you're taking notes and you're focusing on me, every time you focus, every time you study, every time you pay attention to something, to somebody, you're using your, sub, your, your conscious mind. This is also where your short-term memory resides. Now, if your short-term memory resides in a conscious mind, it looks like your long-term memory will be on your subconscious mind. Can that make sense? The subconscious mind, the 90% right here, it's where your, all your emotions and your feelings are. This is where you, this is the most important one right here in the bottom, your habits are. Your relationship, your pattern, your addiction, mainly your habit. 95% of what you're gonna do every single day is by habits. Very, very powerful. You just have a 5% a little bit most people have to change, to, to be on the conscious mind. Of course, your subconscious mind will take care of you uh, when you develop developmental stage, when you become a baby, and uh, take, care, take care of all your bodily function, your, your cardiac rhythm, your body temperature, your immune system, digestive system, everything in the background. Nobody gets up in the morning and say, okay, hey heart, don't forget, hey liver, hey kidneys, let's go, let's go to work. It's all done subconsciously and it's all done by the subconscious mind. Some people who are creative will use this subconscious mind to create, to painters will do that. They connect with the subconscious mind and they're gonna start to create a sculpture if you're a sculptor, a painter, and everything like this. This is what the subconscious mind. Now look at this number, 11 million bits per second. Your entire mind, actually your subconscious mind right here, subconscious mind, the 90% can proceed 11 million bits per second. As opposed to your conscious mind, who can only 40 to 50 bits of information per second. Look at the difference. 11 million are here. Only 40 to 50, 50 bits of information, and thank God, because I know some people have so they already so much, so confused and so much overwhelmed. This is a good thing. So one of the things I want to point out as well: your conscious mind is gonna can deal with the past, the present, and the future. Subconscious mind, remember that always present. If you think about the future, if you think about the past, it's always always present. Thanks for the subconscious mind. You see that filter line that I created there? There's no line like this in your brain. I just put it there so it's easy for you to see it. Conscious mind filter line, we're going to talk about it. So your conscious mind can accept and reject any idea. Subconscious mind, as powerful it is, as it is, don't have that power. When you were a baby, you were 100% dependent of your environment. So, so be aware that if you have children right now, or baby, toddler, be aware that everything you say goes over here. Give you an example. I was born in Quebec City, Canada, so I was programmed to speak French. Some people are born in Russia, they speak Russian. If you were born in China or Thailand, you most likely be a Buddhist, right? If you were born in uh, Egypt or in the Middle East, you're most likely to be a Muslim. This is how it works, right? You are 100% of depending on your environment. This is a language, this is a program that you were programmed to. Which is nothing wrong with that. I would like to, I would love to say that everybody was born in a beautiful family, full of love, full of money, full, full of joy, and everybody support each other. We all know it's not what happened. But the main thing here is, is I want to make sure this is where the most of your limiting beliefs started, right? This is at two, three, four, five, six, seven years old. People tell you you cannot do something, be careful. Remember that I told you? By age 17, you hear knows 150,000 times. That will make an effect on your subconscious mind. So there's no line, everything goes in there. You have no power up to age 
Number eight, eight years old, and now you start to create your own thinking. Let me give you an example. So every cloud that you see, every cloud that you see right now, it's a thought. I know I speak French, the th are tough for me, but pay attention. Thought. Every cloud is a thought, and when you got a bunch of thoughts together, it's an idea. Somebody tells you at six years old you're not good in sport. You select the sport you want. You're not good in sport. 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 And you hear that week after week from your father, your mother, your brother, whoever it is, your coach, man, even whoever it is, they tell you you're not good. So what happened then? Well, this is what happened. Here's your limiting belief will come again and again from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind, and uh, you see after a while you're gonna put some emotion to it. You're going to have, yeah, I don't like to play baseball, I hate baseball, I like, hate basketball, or whatever it is, I'm not good at this, and you start to put emotion, emotion plus a thought is going to be called a belief, and it becomes a reality, and you're going to get the results. That's a result. That's what you believe. Look, I'm going to tell you something that's very important in the next 30 seconds. Pay attention to this. If you want to know what is your mindset is in relation to a certain topic, just look at the results. Again, Bob Proctor talks about it in this video. It's very, very powerful. If you want to know how is your mindset in relation to a certain topic, look, the, look at the results. When you look at your back end account and you feel like you're depressed, you feel you're scared, you, you're, you're afraid, you feel lack, that only means that your mindset in relation to the topic of money is more focused on the lack than abundance. If you get up in the morning, if you're always tired, you have no energy, you always have a cold, or you always some have some kind of disease. Some people might will not like what I'm saying right now, but that only means that when in relation to the topic of health, you're more focused on the lack of health and abundance of health. Same for relationship. If you're always alone, you get up in the morning, you always fight with your coworker, fight with your family, always argue with your spouse or whatever it is, you're not living a harmony life with the people around you, harmonious life with the people around you, guess what? That only means that in relation to the topic of love or relationship, you are more focused on the lack of the obstacle than the ease uh, and love of relationship. Just know that you have a mindset for every single topic in your life. Usually when you talk about mindset, you look at somebody and say, yeah, this guy is fairly positive, this guy is mainly negative. This guy will leave the room and this guy you cross in the sidewalk, you don't want to talk because you know he's going to tell you about life is tough. However, just know that you have a mindset for every single topic. If I talk about the global warming right now, some people will say, oh yeah, we need to do something. They don't understand why nobody's moving and other people will be thinking that, hmm, we've been here forever. This planet has been there forever, we'll be fine, whatever. I'm not saying that one or the other is better than any other. I'm just saying any topic, you can have a mindset, wherever it is. Make sense? So look at your results, and you'll be able to figure out what is your mindset. What is it you, will, you believe in relation to that topic. Hopefully that makes sense. Now that we understand that, the way we think affects everything in our life, let's talk about one that... Uh, that um, very important for everybody. Money. Just pick one. It's hard to make money. I learned that when I was a kid. My dad, uh, you know, my family. It's hard to make money. Hard to make money. You need to work hard to make money. You need to work hard to make money. You need to work hard. Here's your impression right here. If there's no filter here because you don't know what you're doing. Impression goes about it. Like most people, they just don't think. They just react to life. So you repeat the same and you believe the same thing. Well, if you really, really believe that it's hard to make money, guess what? expect to work hard on your money. It makes sense. That's what you tell the universe. That's what you tell yourself. <laughs> the, the universe is going to validate anything you say, anything you want. In the next couple of videos, we'll talk more about the law of vibration, law of attraction, and all these uh, law of momentum as well. So it's going to help you. But right now, just know that, hey, if you're thinking this way, how to make money, 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 and how to make money, well, guess what? You will work hard to make your money. So what do we need to do? That's a good question, right? Well, we're going to do anything in our power to make sure that it doesn't cross that filter line right here. It doesn't go to your impression. You need to change your impression. So it's hard to make money. 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 Oh, it's easy to make money. Other people make money. I made money before or whatever it is. Anything to find relief. 
I'm going to tell you something you will not like. Most of the time, you cannot go from there to there because your momentum is too high, the way you've been thinking is so long. So you're not going to be able to jump from this level of vibration, pull, to reach. You may try, but usually you're going to get more upset, you're going to quit no matter what. So what do we do if I cannot go from there to there? Well, here's what I will tell you. Take a nap, take a walk, take a shower, do something different, watch Netflix, pet your dog, do something. And once you feel a little bit less resistance, the resistance is your negative thoughts, your limiting belief. When you feel less resistance, most likely after a nap, after a walk, maybe after meditating, early in the morning, then you start thinking these positive thoughts. That's very important. Now let's go a little bit deeper here. Hopefully you're ready, right? You got your limiting belief that we talk. Hey, it's hard to make money, it's hard to make money. I can never get ahead or whatever. Limiting belief and I put emotion into it. I'm so pissed off, life is unfair. I am always broke, I hate it, or whatever it is. You got your emotion and then you got your belief, right? Belief is only that you keep thinking, by the way. So you think about it, think about it, think about it until it becomes a program. It becomes a program the same way that you speak English, Russian, or whatever language you have. Remember the beginning, when you had no choice, you learned something, you were programmed to do something. Not only it's a program, now it becomes your autopilot. This is a, your mind is set up to help you to go this way no matter what. As soon as you try to go the other, the left or right, north or south, the autopilot, the way your program is going to try to bring you back to the usual, the 95% of the habits. And that's what it is. That's what the autopilot is going to try to do. It's going to bring you to your point of attraction, the way you think. This is what you attract in life right now. This is uh, if you if you're not whatever limiting beliefs I have, whatever level of success you have, whatever happiness or unhappiness you have, is your point of attraction, meaning is the way you look at the world, it's your results. Very important, I did this pretty quickly. However, I think the main thing I want to go across right here is this. I believe it's only the way, the way you think. I believe it's only a thought you keep thinking, right? Believe is on the thought you keep thinking. So if you keep thinking the same way right here, boom, 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 nothing's gonna change. You're not gonna get these results, you're gonna get these results. Not gonna be easy, but you have to make a change. You have to be aware. My goal of this video is for you to be aware. Awareness is gonna bring you money. Be aware of what you think is gonna bring you money. Ignorance is gonna cost too money. A lot of people don't know that they're gonna do the same thing five years from now, they're gonna be at the same spot. You, on the other hand, if you're right here right now and you say, you know what, I'll do everything in my power to shift my thinking. I know it's gonna take a while, I might have to watch Netflix quite a bit, take a few naps, but I'm gonna do everything in my power to get there. You have a, a very, very good chance to change your result. It's gonna take a while, and uh, we're gonna talk about a video in the next uh, couple of weeks. I do, I'll do a video about the reticular activity systems. Who's gonna filter the thought you're coming in? But that's uh, gonna be another video. So here's an example. Here's, what I, here's the, the way the mind works. I don't want anybody right now to think about a, a red toaster. Do not think about a red toaster. Do not think about it. I don't want you to think about a red toaster. I know most of you saw a red toaster in your mind. This is the way it is. That's just the, the way the mind works. But the beautiful thing is, when you were thinking about a red toaster, you were not thinking about your bank account, your lack of hell, lack of blubber, or whatever it is that you want. You focus on the red toaster. So that's the same thing when you focus on the abundance of money or lack of money. Your mind cannot think about two things at the same time. This is why the 10%, your conscious mind, is very, very important. Remember that you have the power. Here's one thing I want you to look at. If you want to reach your goals, you must shrink the size of your butt. If you want to reach your goals, you must shrink the size of your butt. But I don't have time, but I don't have money, but it, it takes too much time, I don't have energy, but, 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 but. Look, that's what the way it is. All right, I think this is a good time to end this video, but before I go, I would like to challenge you a little. Now you have a little bit more knowledge, right? So apply this knowledge, make a change. Change something today, tomorrow, next week, or in the near future that's gonna help you to get what you want, to manifest what you want faster. Remember, all changes start right here though. So be aware, pay attention to the way you think, to the way you talk to your subconscious mind, the way you talk to the universe. 
I want to thank you so much for listening to me to the end. If you want to contact me, you can do it on my website, www.focus1itsallcoaching.com. Send me a direct message from YouTube or add a comment below. I check them daily. And I'm going to finish by saying the same thing as always. Stay well and stay focused on what? On what you really, 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 really want. See ya.